I pour the enamels and watch some of the re reactions that take place and a lot of it's out of my control. I can create a bit of a framework and interact with it but mostly it's out of my control and I find that quite exciting because that echoes how I feel about a contemporary existence. It's not all under our control. I respond then once it's dried and work back in with layers to that ground for want of a better word and uh, try and work the layers into the ground so there's less distinction between figure and ground. I'm working towards an exhibition that will be in March at Bet Gallery. It's called Materia Prima and those words are from the alchemical process of transforming or actually means base or first material. And in alchemy, the nastier, base, stickier and more disgusting that material is, the, the, the better. Paint has these great qualities that I just adore. It's viscosity, it's plasticity and it, that it can be quite fluid. When you watch those reactions, there's turbulence, like air currents, cumulus clouds, there's sort of uh, Ebola pustules, like it's a macro-micro world. There are ice floats that break off. I see a lot of um, cataclysmic or sort of weather uh, in, in the work. And maybe that's because the chemicals are toxic. Maybe if I use water-based stuff, they wouldn't react like they do. The close-up echoes what's going on in the bigger picture. So it looks just like weather from space. It's a very doubtful process, which is that, you know, it sort of is out of my control. That's really important. There's uncertainty. And it's interesting that the reactions are turbulent. They're not easy pictures. Some are easier than others, but they're not meant to be easy either. I'm working towards a practice that, that isn't separated from life. So the, the work is, is a practice. It's a daily practice. It's not kind of making, making art for art's sake.